What is up, everybody? This is Moby, and today I'm reacting to TikToks about lead generation because most of them suck. They're lying to you and use tactics, which are from 2005. Let's go. I made my first $600 of passive income for less than $50. Went over to go. I like the energy. All right. What is he going to say? Daddy, and I bought a domain. It was towing Huntsville dot com look it up cost me about 10 bucks for the year then i went over and i built a really simple website five page website a uh, thousand words of content on the home page this did take me a little bit of time but it was just okay five page website it's going to take you uh depends on how you are anywhere from four hours to ten hours sweat equity so a weekend i then set up the hosting on the platform which was weebly and it was like 12 or 15 bucks per month and then i half an hour I went and set up and bought a tracking phone number, which cost me $5 per month. So all half an hour, then I was less than 50 bucks. I spent a couple of hours over the next 90 days doing SEO basics, a couple of hours over the next 90 days. So a lot of SEO work stuff. It started to rank. I started to get phone calls coming in. I took the phone calls. I teamed up with a local towing company and they started paying me $600 every single month. It cost me $50 to build. All right, $50 to do a build. Let's talk about the lead generation part of this. This is called SEO, search engine optimization. And he says 90 days. This guy, digital drug dealing must, Nick is gonna be a savant at this stuff, which is because SEO takes so much time. And if you're getting results in 90 days, that's really, really good. Don't expect this to happen. You build a site and you suddenly get a bunch of leads coming in. Nope, 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 nope. He must be really good at marketing because that is not going to happen. Next video, I am done with this. All right, let's look at Chris Walker. Or you wanna be inside of paid social, you gotta change your mindset, you gotta change your metrics, you gotta change your execution. All right, he's gonna talk about demand generation, which is basically this idea like, hey, if what the hell is this idea? How do I say it? Demand generation is just a made up term. It's basically inbound lead market. It's basically inbound lead and inbound marketing. So how do you describe demand generation? I know this, I've interviewed his VP, and this could all be in the video, by the way. So what demand generation is, instead of going out and hunting for leads and telling them, buy from me, buy from me, you build a content system on LinkedIn, YouTube, paid ads, webinars, that educates your ideal customers, and whenever they want to buy a product or service that you sell, like that kind of service, they reach out to you because you are number one in their brain. It's basically marketing. In that order, in order to get better results. You can't change the execution until you change the mindset and you can't change the execution until you change the metrics because inside of your company, it's gonna look like it's not working even though it could be. And so from a mindset standpoint, we need to move. This is simple, really simple change from lead gen to demand gen. Quick thing, uh, if you zoom, zoom in, so he's wearing a nice watch, but then a whoop, cool from running ads that are designed to collect email addresses to telling a story. Okay, I'm bored already. Uh, I told you what lead gen is. I told you what demand gen is. This guy's just talking about going from lead gen and demand gen, which is cool if you're already making money. If you're not making money, don't do demand gen in the start because you're just gonna lose money. One more video, let's go. This is video number three. Lead gen tips for marketers. Sometimes B2B brands want a really quick fix when it comes to lead gen, but it doesn't. Spot on. I love the fact that she's starting off that she's absolutely right. Business to business people want just, we want leads right now and we want them to spend $50,000 with us in like a week. Fuck no, that's not going to happen. I love how this video starts. Always work that way because buying journeys are a lot longer in B2B. We're looking at between six to 12 months average across all industries. 100%. So what that means is that buyers and influencers... Oh, I already love this. I'm going to follow her. ...and says tend to need multiple touch points from our brands in order to end up making a purchase. Yep. Yeah, B2B sales cycles take long because you're selling something very expensive. It's a big decision for that company and they need to have multiple times that they interact with you and your company online, offline, in any way or fashion, multiple times over a year or something. However, if I was asked, what is the best way to generate leads, get some leads in quick, here's what I would do. 
A really cool thing to do is to automate emails. So when there's already a lot of data held by the company to get in a really good um, email automation system that meets buyers where they're at and nurtures them along their journey. So there could be contacts sitting there who could be really. That is true, which is you have a list of contacts that you want to potentially sell to and you start an automated email campaign to engage them. The goal is not to get them on a call right away. It's just to engage them, start a conversation, give some data, make them like you and trust you and not think you are a snake oil salesman. Hot leads, they just need a- How long is this video? I've also seen incredible results from using a tele-nurturing partner or in-house telemarketing people if- Yeah, cold calling. That's necessary. Uh, what they okay, so I just learned from watching these videos about lead gen and marketing. I don't wanna watch these videos about lead gen and marketing because uh, they're too long. Three minutes and me reacting? Do you really wanna watch this? I don't know. Drop it in the comments, but yeah, this is, I'm not going to do this. So let's try one more video and please give me something. 30 seconds. Give me some dopamine. Okay. Lead generation. A lot of you ask me. Ooh. Oh my God. That, that is aggressive. That is aggressive. What do I do for lead gen, Jen? And a lot of you. He's funny. You also want to know what do I do to get more listings? And here's the thing. Why is everything about realtors? Give me something else. Lead generation is not just for lead leaders. All right. Top three B2B lead gen strategies for 2022. Last video for today. It's for 2022. Video is still king. So the first strategy is going to be organic YouTube content. Very good point. Very good point. Cheap to produce and you can make a lot of money with a tiny following. The second. Oh, it's hard to make a lot of money with a tiny following. Best way to get B2B leads in 2022 is going to be Instagram reels and TikTok videos. Every uh, maybe if your bar is in B2B and you're selling something very expensive, slightly that they're older, they might be using Facebook, TikTok, maybe. Everybody sees this wave coming, so jump on it early and get those easy wins. The third and best lead gen strategy for 2020. Best lead gen strategy for 2022. Let's go, man with purple lighting in the background. It's great. 22 would be YouTube ads. Right now, you YouTube ads are pretty good. Ads are still massively undervalued and a big blue ocean for businesses that can take advantage of it. Follow for more business tips. Yeah, so basically uh, organic video and paid search. Yeah, that's right. That's kind of basic though. He is right though. He is right. I'm not going to take it away from Neil Shap. That's our set of videos for today. Thank you for watching this. Appreciate you. If you want to learn more, um, go, go read a book. <laughs> All right, bye.